how celebrities depuff their faces. If there is something that celebrities are not synonymous with, it would be puffiness. We're always hearing about like their diet trends or how they depuff and like, you know, structure their faces. And I actually kind of disagree with that. Like, why is that the standard? But I will say that there are times that I wake up and my under eye bags are puffy. I slept on my side. My whole face just doesn't look like me. And that is something that I would like to do a little something something about. We have reacted to a ton of different celebrities on this channel and we've spoken quite a bit about why lymphatic fluid actually pools up in our face overnight or how our dietary choices such as eating too much salt or fun fact not eating enough salt can actually cause water retention and bloating to show up in the face. Now celebrities have quite some interesting gizmos and gadgets to help combat this and it ranges from Shea Mitchell's ice rollers to the new face being used both properly and improperly as well as $200 magical wands and massaging jackhammer type things. Is this a jackhammer or is it a motorized hammer? I don't know, but it's actually quite relaxing. Celebrities must know something or have access to something that we don't because their skin always looks so flawless. Even when the filters are taken off, I have to say that their skin is pretty freaking good. So is it genetics? Is it dermatologists and skincare treatments? Or is it the tools that are used during those professional skincare treatments, but also at home? So I wanted to break down the five most interesting tools that we've seen celebrities use and speak about how they depuff their faces so that, you know, maybe I can get it on some of the depuffing. You know, you just wake up and you just look like you face planted into your day. Honestly, that's how I feel a lot of the time. But, ah! but that's what coffee is for. I almost spilled the coffee on myself, but I didn't. Yay. Haley Bieber. Her skin always looks great. And I actually think she's a skin intellectual. When we reacted to her skincare routine, it was actually quite refreshing. She knew things that most other celebrities and many other people don't. And it actually seems like she cares about her routine and how she feels when doing it, as opposed to the brand names or the flashiness of, you know, what a routine could be. She specifically used a very expensive, very luxurious jackhammer wand type motorized thing. This is the facial sculpting wand from Shawnee Darden. And fun fact, Shawnee Darden is a professional. She's worked in the industry. This is a black owned beauty brand. And if you know Hailey Bieber and you're on her Christmas list, apparently you got one of these. Dude, I would love to be on Hailey Bieber's Christmas list, even though I know I'm never going to be. But wouldn't that be nice if she's given out these kinds of things? Oh my God, I will be the best girl ever this year, every year. Define good, define bad, everything is subjective. This facial sculpting wand does cost a pretty penny, but it claims to smooth, firm, and tone. And yes, I am actively testing this. Shawnee Darden as an entire brand and her philosophy is absolutely Cassandra approved. But this thing, have you seen those massage guns that like play in ads in front of YouTube videos? And it's like a slow motion of like someone's thigh just being annihilated by like a motorized hammer. That's basically what this is for your face. And I will say, it is so relaxing. It massages the bones inside of your skull and it is just so freaking lovely. Mm. My ethmoid is impressed, okay? Yes, this is a pretty penny, but I understand why celebrities use it. But the question is, is it worth the money for people like you and me who don't have a celebrity kind of money? Uh, that is the question. And for those of us who maybe do struggle with that a bit more, might I recommend this. Miss Shay Mitchell showed us an ice roller that she uses on her face. And a lot of people ask like, why not just rub ice on your face? Is it really that bad? Like, why do you have to go get a roller? Let me just say, people think it's okay until it goes bad. It's funny until someone gets hurt. And then if it's not permanent, like sometimes it's hilarious, but we don't want to get hurt around here, okay? Here's an example of someone who decided to use ice directly on their skin and uh, look, it froze their leg. Like, don't do it. Just the way you wouldn't put ice directly on a broken arm or a broken leg or a swollen ankle. You don't want to put ice directly on your face where arguably the skin is thinner and more sensitive. But Shay Mitchell had a very inexpensive ice roller, which is a safer way to depuff by using ice and cryotherapy. And actually uh, Debbie Ryan, who we also reacted to, she had like 15 different tools all in one. I mean, she was ice rolling, gua sha facial massaging, like all of the things under the sun and under the sundry, which this is what she used. But yes, both Debbie Ryan, Shay Mitchell, and many other celebrities who I regret to say I've forgotten their names already. So many celebrities like to use cryotherapy or cold therapy on their faces. This is very similar to the one that Shay Mitchell used. Uh, the reason that I love this one is because it actually has a butterfly. This is a little Christmas gift. We love her. This one was from Amazon and it specifically says, do not use on wounded skin tissue. We freaking love a 
good disclaimer. Thank you. Thank you. That's more than half the other brands do. This magical roller both protects the face and also helps to depuff. And it's really nice because it costs about the price of one of Shay Mitchell's drinks. Did you know that she has an adult beverage company? Hey, I learned it on YouTube. YouTube and the internet is where I get all of my media. Like, I'm sorry, what is a TV show? This is fantastic. The box had a butterfly. It didn't cost an arm and a leg. Shay Mitchell was right. This is pretty freaking fantastic. And um, she used some other very interesting products inside of her routine that I think we might have to try. But what if this is nice, but it's a little bit big and you're struggling to get into some of those hard to reach areas? Well, Debbie Ryan was not wrong. She used these sundry ice globes. These are basically little ice wands for your face. And they are glass filled with this delicate cryo liquid that you know you cool in the fridge or freezer and that you apply and I must say these are a little bit more luxurious but ooh, <laughs> are these nice I, I actually had one of these that broke on its way to me it was devastating it broke my heart and it broke literally it was it was tragic we will mourn the loss of our sundry ice globe for years to come. And so now, instead of being a twin, she is just a single sister. But she is wonderful. And I get that this is a little bit more luxurious, but I actually find that this is so wonderful, especially to use in some of those hard to reach areas. Now, as an esthetician with facial massage, there are some pressure points that are also used in acupressure that can actually really help just to relax and to rejuvenate and actually to help with lymphatic drainage. And this one, we love her for overall depuffing, but like it can be hard to reach those areas. This one, you can literally use this right here or this area to get those places that you need the most and this is really a fantastic wand it's sculpted phenomenally I never considered how wonderful some you know cryo liquid in a little glass pixie dust wand would be but yeah this is a luxury but this is a nice one speaking of a luxury nurse Jamie Yes, she is a nurse. Yes, I've actually met her a long time ago. It was years ago. She has this ice uplift massaging beauty roller and this is expensive. I was like, what is this? Some like magical crystal onyx healing therapy? Like it's a spinny hexagon crystal thing on a stick. This is more of a fidget toy than a skincare product or so I thought. Well, <laughs> it's definitely expensive, but boy, do I understand why celebrities use it. It is heavy and it actually adds weight to the skin without pressure. But this is actually quite relaxing. And yes, it does help to depuff. Just the rolling nature of it really goes over the skin quite nicely. And although it is expensive and although it is not a necessity, you could use just a cold spoon to depuff certain areas of your face, which yes, multiple celebrities have actually done. Do you see this? Do you see? She literally says that she uses a cold spoon to depuff her face. We stand for honest and affordable beauty decisions because it works. But if you want to take it next level, this is definitely one of them. And oh my God, can I just say that this shits on jade rollers. Okay. Okay. Jade rollers have nothing on Jamie, Nurse Jamie. This actually holds the coldness in and this is just so much more weighted and it glides along the skin so much more easily because you kind of have it on this. It almost acts like a full and you can really get into where you need to. Whereas this, I feel like I'm roller painting my face with a jade roller and it's just not it. But for the price, if you're price sensitive, then this is definitely the way to go. If you want to be bougie like the celebrities, yeah. Oh, it's just so nice. You know what else it is? It's these little circles. They almost pull the skin together just a little bit, just like a little bit of a nice squeeze. Not overly squeezing, not stretching out the skin, but like, mm. It is nice. The forehead, it's okay, but like, oh, the cheeks. Oh, the cheeks is where she gets it. And then they'll go down here. Yeah, it was a lot of money. You better use it every day if you're gonna be spending that kind of money on it. But I mean, it's purple and I like it a lot. And like, I, I do understand why. <laughs> Jessica Alba specifically loves this. I think a Victoria's Secret model does as well. And again, if you have Jessica Alba, honest beauty, you know, stock is like at $10 kind of money, then great. <laughs> but if you don't, then, you know, I do understand being more price sensitive. Now, if you are more price sensitive, a lot of celebrities love affordable eye masks. Yes, there are so many celebrities that appreciate eye masks that are not overpriced, specifically the Skin Iceland one. I saw there was like five different celebrities who all swear by the Skin Iceland one. And it's great. It does really depuff the eyes. Now, if you want to take it to the next level, do you remember when we tried those microneedling under eye patches? 
Yep, those are the same exact brand. They're just a little more pokey pokey and they get the product in where it needs to be. Those are probably some of the best eye patches I've used to date. Eye patches in general, they kind of act like push-up bras for the under eye area. You can wear them when you first wake up and they really help. It's almost like if you held a roller or something cool right here as you're like getting your breakfast or something, like they're inexpensive and they really work. But those microneedling under eye patches, oh my God, they were like twice as good. My eye was visibly like, the color was just completely different. My eyes were lifted. They didn't have wrinkles. Whew, those are good. And they're great when they are on sale. Now I understand that most of the celebrities, I don't think that they're all using the microneedle ones. If you do have more sensitive eyes and you can't handle the pokey pokey micro dart ones, these vegan ceramide hydrogel ones are fantastic. Purple butterflies, hello. But vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, super safe for sensitive skin. And eye patches don't have to cost an arm and a leg. You literally pop them on, you look great. Even, what's her name? Hailey Bieber with the magic hammer wand. Even she loves Wander Beauty eye patches. And yes, I understand why. And just because celebrities have expensive devices doesn't mean that they always know how to use them. And I've seen a lot of celebrities make mistakes with these things. One of those that's actually quite difficult to use is the new face. This can be a fantastic device if you use it right, but um, it can be hard to do. I really credit the new face. I've used it on and off for about two years and I really credit it for helping me kind of get this kind of uh, this chisel right here. That's something that right under my cheekbone, I really credit this for helping. And I am trying to kind of lift in my brow area by using this. It does work if you use it regularly, but hi, sometimes that's my problem. I don't have time to use this regularly. Microcurrent does work. We've seen it in office. We know that it helps. It can help stimulate ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Some people say that it lifts the skin. I think that it actually kind of lifts because it stimulates the muscles. However, this is not a replacement for a facelift. This is not going to like lift your face. That's not what this is, but is it nice? Yes. Is it expensive? Hell yeah, that's like $500. I actually really like the mini. I find that the mini is just as good as the big one, the Trinity, and um, it's less expensive. Yes, the big one has more settings and it has more device heads, but the little one does the job just fine. Find that especially for when I'm trying to depuff my face, if I've had a really rough night or didn't sleep well, this helps to stimulate circulation. You can use it to massage. These are also kind of cooling. And then you are shooting that electricity into the skin to help to stimulate those muscles underneath that subcutaneous, that fat, and those dermal skin layers. Now some celebrities use this right and some use it wrong. And the reason why is because it can be difficult. You don't want to lock it into your jaw. You want to hold it on the jaw. You kind of need to know a little bit about facial anatomy. And lucky for you, we've actually done an entire video on facial anatomy and the new face that I hope can help and act as a guide. Because even when I was first using the new face, it's very different than regular microcurrent. Normally in regular microcurrent, we basically have these two silver Harry Potter wands and we, you know, stick them on the face and we move them around, you know, to conduct electricity above and below an eyebrow or something like that or a cheek. But um, can be confusing to start out with. And then you also have to use it with the right products. For example, Madeline Petch is amazing. Her YouTube channel is phenomenal. She uses so many fun skincare tools. Her personality is addictive. But when she used her new face, she used it over an oil. Now, if she enjoys that and she's using it to massage, that's fine, go for it. But you're not actually getting the microcurrent benefit of the new face if you're using it over an oil because oils don't conduct electricity the same way that water-based products do. Now, Miranda Kerr also uses the new face and she uses it over her water-based spray. So that really helps to conduct this you know, and shoot electricity into the face. There are other celebrities that use different gels and stuff like that. If you wanna get the most out of your money, make sure that you use it over a gel and try to learn some facial anatomy. And if you are trying to depuff your face like a celebrity, make sure that you're doing a little bit of that deeper dive to understand how, you know, some of the complex technologies in these things work. Now, some celebrities have also used LED lights. Oh my God, Paris Hilton's LED light is a dream. Madeline Petch, love her. She's also used a high frequency slash Tesla machine. Those are so fun. These are amazing technologies, but they aren't to depuff the face. Those are just celebrity tools that are really cool that yes, I use as well. Which of these devices do you think is best for your face? And should we discuss those other celebrity skincare devices that don't deal with depuffing? And I mean, when it's all said and done, there are some celebrity mistakes. Who is it? Victoria Beckham from Spice Girls. Apparently she and her husband use bird poop to depuff their faces. <sighs> think not. But some of these celebrities are like, yo, $5 eye patches and a cold spoon. Thank you. You don't have to spend a ton of money to look depuffed like a celebrity. And complete depuffing should not always be the beauty standard or the goal. But if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed or with some puffiness and stuffiness in your head, some of these things may help. And again, 
deep dives and more videos coming on some of these soon. Make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss them. <laughs> Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. And if you want to watch one of the celebrities that we reacted to when they used these tools, you can actually see those first impressions right here and right here. And if I didn't upload them, yell at me in the comments, okay? Thank you, thank you. Sometimes she forgets. There's a lot of moving pieces to creating a YouTube video, okay? Okay. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.